everybody and this is Chicken Dicker and as you probably know that I I have quit playing World of Tanks for about a long time, maybe as long as two years because uh, I didn't really do well in my recent exam and I so I got banned from doing gaming and so where do I get my gameplays from in order to keep up my YouTube channel? Well, I get my replay videos from either subscribers or replay websites and uh, I hope actually this is actually a better step because replay websites, they have some amazing gameplays in there and just like this one, we will see from this player called Le Miserables and his 65% win ratio guy and 10,000 gain, 2,000 efficiency and for the beginning part of this, I don't really get why he's camping with a Panda 2J here but hopefully the results of this game will really show you why but then and if his team were really competent then I, I, I just think that you know if the team just steamrolls the enemy team he would get no damage done but it doesn't really happen in this game and so the Panda 2J Let's talk about the stats of the thing. It has a two centimeter KWK38. It has a hundred, a uh, hundred thirty eight point forty six shots per minute. That's so much. And eleven damage for one hit. And f twenty three penetrations and forty six penetrations with premium round. Now with premium round, you have a good chance of penetrating people of your own tier, uh, but really against his force is just no you just really can't pen them with the even with premium round you're gonna bounce so much even on a lightly armored tank the panda 4 the pandas 2j J has 80 armor on the turret frontal turret 50 on side 50 on the back rotating speed 40 that's not that bad v range 320 standard and a fug 6 signal range 345 that's adequate uh, the engine is crap it has 160 horsepower um, you have a chance of 20% of getting caught on fire and the tracks has a rotating speed of 32 and just check this kill steal out check out this kill steal look at that kill steal just when the panda 1c are gonna get the kill the m2 light he gets a snapshot on the guy and kills him so how lucky do you have to be to be able to get a game like this? Just check out that guy. The T2 was left with one health. And who's going to get the kill on the T2? Nobody. It's, it's going to be Le Miserable. And his team is on 112. And he's the only one that actually got a kill. So let's see if he can kill that cruiser. He kills the cruiser. He's now spamming rounds into the other Panda 1C. And he's failing to pen some of the shots. Uh now aiming at the side of a BT and he goes for a reload look at the screen on the left uh, left side um, just how much uh, shots he's receiving at the moment uh, one thing is he, he, he is really just gonna kill one of them at a time and just so easily gonna, gonna beat all of them up and you can see that nobody is penning him they're shooting premium round you see all that APCR and they're just not killing him. Literally, they're not killing him. And okay, he's still not taking any damage yet. Let's see when does he get his first point of damage. He's still taking no hits, no hits. Uh, he's taking no penetrating hits at the moment. Doesn't pen that guy, but he gets the kill anyway here. T18. He sees the he sees the, the more dangerous target. And he kills him. And he kills him again. Another guy. Artillery trying to splash him, but missing somehow when he's trying to shoot a still target. I don't know how that's possible, but he, uh, he didn't get a kill on that guy. And now he's gonna spam all of them to death. And just watch the Tiki, how the Tiki's gonna get killed. Artillery smashed him. So that's the first point of damage done by a high explosive tank. Uh, he's shooting the Panda 2. And let's see, kills the Panda 1C, and now the Panda 2, and now the Panda 1C, he's, he's ignoring him. He shoots a, the Tiki, the Tiki is dead, and for those of you who don't know, he's on uh, 23 health, but that that's because uh, his crews uh, got killed by the, by the miserable, uh, 
and now he's just on certain kills. Can you believe this? It's not just skill you need. It's you gotta have the right map. You gotta have the right situation. What if, okay, uh, some guy killed killed uh, a few of them? He wouldn't got this sort of score because you see how he killed still that first kill, and also how he he killed that guy on one health. His teammate didn't kill that guy on with one health. You know, that that's just lucky and. Panda 1J, I mean, it's not hard to do, Panda 2J, it's not hard to do this, uh, certainly, if you get that situation, but this doesn't happen that often, you know, this sort of situation, you have to be both lucky and good, and also in the right situation as well, uh, let's talk about other stuff, the, the accuracy of the shell is uh, not the greatest, uh, it has an aim time of 1.4, uh, second accuracy of 0.57 meters in 100 meters so that's pretty bad uh, you're talking about how it's a standard and shot dispersion 0.68 uh, not the best and the mobility of this thing is not the best but you know if you have like e25 speeds on this tank it will be just a bit too OP wouldn't you think um, let's talk about some historical data if there's any uh, we can see that the Panda 2 out J is a German tier 3 premium light tank and for the, all of you who don't watch jingles and you're wondering um, why is the Panda 2 J uh, you don't see often well the reason is because uh, this is a gift tank you get when you buy the actual uh, the box uh, version or you can receive it through the the Gamescom 2012 so that's very early very early in the game development so we're talking about two years ago so not many people played at the time and went to gamescom and got the code so for all of those they were lucky to get it so it, it is a modernized version of the panda 2 house g with enhanced armor produced from april through december 1942 so you're looking around the the time when they were doing the invasion of the soviet union at the time and uh... With the total production of 22 vehicles built it has let's see it has insane armor it does not see tier 5 tanks uh, so that's good it has good gun depression gun handling it has slow speed weak gun loses effectiveness when playing in tier 4 matches so that that's the bad thing about it and uh, let's just check out the after gameplay so from the after game stats we can see that he's got all these medals and let's just tell you a few of them you, you barely see so you get this the Lang the, the, the Langlad medal so awarded to a player who is in the course of one battle destroys four enemy tanks within a base circle okay that's interesting cool headed <laughs> that that's so obvious and you get the recognized heroes medal to destroy at least 14 vehicles this is one of the most rare medals you would see in the game and you get Kulubanov to be honest I almost got a, my own Kulubanov once and it was ruined by an enemy fail platoon who ruined it you can check that out in my uh, YouTube channel of course but yeah that it's really sad to watch that and yeah if you're not in the mode of seeing something sad don't watch it so defender medal still well he's basically got like all the medals in the game <laughs> in one game he's got the nadings medal uh, that's uh, f to destroy three light tanks um, or more in one battle okay that that's oh destroy all enemy light tanks in one battle that's pretty interesting so of course he came top and uh, he didn't get that much experience because it's a panda 2j maybe he doesn't get too much modif modifier xp modifier and shots fired 180 147 hits 122 penetration was even with full prem okay damage down 1200 and hits received 237 can you just imagine that number 237 and uh, penetration is only 19 uh, of which um, 218 didn't pen and he only received one uh, I think he only took a, f a few HP off by the enemy RT and the penetration one actual penetrations I don't think they were like penetrating his armor the like the space armor but not really penetrating his whole armor to get 
uh, the full damage done but yeah uh, this is it's just one of those games where he just so 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 destroy the enemy they just cannot do anything else you see there's a guy who did 300 uh, damage and didn't get a single kill and that's what I'm talking about you know when you just camp at the back and you have to have a lucky game and a good situation to do this you can try this for a hundred times and you won't even get 15 kills it's just like that you it doesn't happen by luck it really has it no it doesn't happen by preparation it doesn't happen by careful calculation you really have to be lucky to get 15 kills um, so thanks for watching this uh, video and hopefully you enjoyed my new way of commentating um, I've now also just written out my plan for the for the talk so that I don't have to go uh 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 all the time and also I am now using Sony Vegas and yeah this this game is just epic first time seeing 15 kills and okay thanks for watching and good luck to all of you and have fun